Um, I have just a quick little demo here today on something that all of us do as quilters, especially when we're sewing our binding on, is how to thread a needle for hand sewing. A lot of people think that it's a really basic thing, but there's some little tricks that many people have never seen and we're going to show you that. So Elaine's going to scoot the camera in just a little bit. So the first thing is thread, especially cotton thread, is um, a series of fibers that are twisted together in the factory. And so they are twisted in a certain direction and then put on the spool in the same direction. So there, there's kind of a grain to thread. And what most people do is they pull the thread, they go like this, they cut it, and this happens to be the side that's in your hand when you cut it, and then they want to thread this end. What you're doing is you're threading it against the grain. So now if I have this in my needle, as I'm stitching, I'm actually pulling against the grain of the twist. So a lot of times when you're hand sewing and you keep pulling it through and your, your thread starts twisting up on you or making knots, it's because you're pulling against the grain of that twist from when the thread was made. So the better way to do it, and we'll let Kathy get the phone, is don't cut your thread. Okay, take the thread, but don't cut it. And we're gonna we're gonna thread the needle first, so so then I know that I have my my lead end of my thread that is in the direction I want it to be. The other thing people tend to do forever is they take this thread, which is a wobbly piece of thread, and I have my needle, which is a nice hard solid piece of metal. And they tend to take the wobbly thread and stab it at the needle and try to hit that hole. If you switch it around, so I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to pull it into my fingers so you can barely see the point. So now I've stabilized the wobbly thread and now I'm going to take my needle and I'm just going to lay it onto the tip of that thread. Okay, so again I'll do it one more time. I'm going to take that thread, got it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull it back into my fingers so I can just see the tip of it. And then I'm going to lay the needle onto oops, the tip of that thread. And it just makes threading the needle much easier to stabilize the thread first. The other thing is an, the eye of the needle when they make the needle, there's a machine that comes down and kind of punches that little eye in there. So it goes in one side and the punch comes out the other side. So there is actually one side of the eye is slightly bigger than the other side. So if you're trying to do that threading and it's not working, just rotate your needle so that you're working with the other side of the eye and it may go in a little bit easier. Okay. Then we also have this product, it's called Thread Magic. And this is for if you're doing a lot of hand sewing. Years ago they used to use beeswax or some different sort of wax. This is a synthetic wax, but it's gonna coat your thread. So it just makes it a little stronger and a little easier to glide. This little container has slots on it. So what I'll do if I'm gonna do a lot of hand sewing is I'll just put it down in, in between one of those two slots and then I put the cover back on. And I'm just gonna leave it that way. So now <clears throat> I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna, I'm gonna thread my needle, and then I'm gonna pull it, and then I'll clip it about here. And I'm just gonna leave this little end, I don't know if I'm still on camera. You are. I'm gonna leave this little tail of the, the thread hanging out. So once I've used up this thread and I need another one, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna thread it, and then I'm gonna pull it right through there. And cut it here okay so you just kind of always leave that little tail every once in a while I'll open this up and switch it to a different groove just so I don't get a you know a cut it kind of self heals after a while and then this is one of our favorite little scissors around here you can't really see it on camera but this actually has teeny tiny microscopic serrated edges on your scissors so and it's got a really sharp point so like when you're trying to get in and clip something really tight, 
you know, grab the fabric and clip right to the point instead of sometimes you put your scissors in there and when you clip, it, it just pushes the fabric out of the way. This one, those serrated edges are going to grab the fabric and give you a really tight little clip. And then one more product that we have to show you today for those of us that even it doesn't matter how big the eye is on the needle, we still can't see it because our eyes are getting older. So this is called the Desktop Needle Threader. So this one has a little hole right at the top. And I'm going to put my needle with the eye side down. And I kind of want the, the opening of the eye facing in this direction. So I'm going to put it down in there. And then I'm going to put lay my thread in this groove. And I'm going to push the button here. And what it does is it just, there's a little wire in there that's going to push just a little loop through your eye of your needle. So now I can just grab that loop and my needle is threaded. Okay, so I'll just, again, do it one more time. I'm going to put it down in so that my eye is facing towards where I'm putting the thread. I'm going to lay my thread in there. I'm going to click it. And when I pull it out, I have that little loop coming through. All right. Whoops. Oh, I need to thread it one more time because I want to show you how to tie a quilter's knot in the end of your thread. Okay. Oh, I missed it. All right. So one last thing we want to show you is most of us, as we learned as kids, to tie a knot in the end, you just kind of take it and you wrap it around your finger and you roll a little knot and you try to get it as close to the end as you can. An easier way to do it is if you take your needle and you make a circle and then I'm going to lay my thread right on top of my needle and hold it and then I'm going to wrap my thread around three times and I'm just going to kind of hold that little group of circles with this finger and I'm going to pull my thread. So I'm pulling my needle and my thread through those three little loops that I made. And that's going to give me a nice tight little knot right at the end of my string. And you can clip it a little shorter if you need to. So that's how you can thread a needle by making that circle. It's kind of the way that you used to do um, French knots for any of you that that are embroiderers just like that all right we hope you were able to learn something new today um we'll see you tomorrow afternoon have a great evening bye bye now